Hey guys, how's it doing? I just want to show you guys how to connect an external monitor to a Chromebook, especially in this case, a Chromebook Pixel 2. Um, it's a very simple process, honestly. Um, first, you want to buy a USB-C to a VGA or any other output. Like if your uh, external monitor only supports DVI and VGA, I mean, you're going to have a lot more luck finding a VGA to USB-C, which I actually have right here. It's called my Insignia. I bought it at Best Buy for 25 bucks, like relatively cheap. I mean, like I said, 25 bucks. You'll connect it to your USB right here, USB-C. You'll connect to uh, the VGA. You take the VGA all the way out, connect it to the monitor, and then boom, you're, you're all good to go from there. So from there, you'll sh you should get an icon if you're uh, to text it. So you'll get an icon over here on your notification tray. And I'll tell you, you know, right here, uh, extending a uh, screen to your monitor chances are it's gonna say mirror which uh, if you're like me you don't really want a mirror you want more like a dual screen computer setup so as you can see here's the mouse I drag it up boom now the mouse is over here and then so on and so forth when you're on the settings you can choose to have it to be an extended desktop or an internal uh, like mirror which I mean there's no point from there, you can actually drag where the, your laptop or computer or Chromebook is, as well as where the monitor is relatively, uh, relative to you. So as you can clearly see, my setup is my Chromebook Pixel at the bottom and then my monitor on top of it. So I can kind of just drag it up. Honestly, um, it's very nifty. Uh, like for example, like if you want to watch something and play something, it's like very convenient. For, for my example, I typically watch YouTube on the... Uh, external monitor and then I'll play a game on the uh, actual computer. That's also something else I want to mention. You can't drag apps to the external monitor. I don't know why, but like I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, exit this out. Minimize this. And then I can actually drag the setting upwards. And you can see right there where it fades out and you know, I'll drop it and I'll be in there. And I can like, you know, like I said, drag it to the other screen and then, you know, expand it and so on. But for apps, no matter how hard I try, you can't make it work. As far as I know, this isn't like, it's like a, just doesn't let you, for example, here is this. I always get this error, by the way, for whatever reason. Um, you, you minimize that and you try to drag it up. It just, it doesn't allow you to, for whatever reason that might be. So just keep that in mind too. If you guys are planning on, you know, taking uh, your Android apps up into the external display, you can't do that as of yet. I don't know why, I think it would have been pretty, you know, nifty to have Hearthstone up here and then have like a YouTube video down here, but I just reversed the order then. So, like I said, down here, I'll open up the, uh, the app and I'll open it to relative of where you're pressing it to, which is kind of convenient. So, I'll go to YouTube on here, can watch a video up here, while down here, I can just play Hearthstone. So I like I do I do have the regular Chromebook Pixel. So I mean I don't really see any much lagging or much you know jitteriness. Uh, I assume it'll work even better with the LS since you have you know double the RAM and the i7. But uh, you know eight gigs of RAM and i5. I mean it's doing a really good job. I can just watch videos and have this. And since uh, when you leave the app um, when you click out of it the app does like stall or something. I know sometimes with Hearthstone if you leave the app it'll just stop and then reboot itself more or less. But if you're doing it like in this fashion, then you're fine. So that's just a quick little how to do it. You know, like I said, you can literally buy this $25 of VGA cable. I mean, I'm sure you have one around your house. And if not, you can find them on Walmart for like 10, 10 15 bucks at the most. So, uh, I mean, I would always recommend HDMI. It'd be a lot easier. But if you have an older monitor like me, uh, then go that route, VGA. I mean, it's a shame when you're looking at 1080p washed out colors over, you know, the Pixel's perfect display. But other than that, I couldn't recommend it more. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Like I said, I tried this with the Chromebook uh, uh, Pixel 2. I know the, uh, I saw Thunderbolt 2, you know, many display port ones for the uh, original Chromebook. I'm assuming that would work just as fine. It's, but that doesn't play Android apps, so not a big deal. Uh, I also tried with the Pixel C. I got I got nothing, not even an option. So I'm assuming you can't do it on there, which is a shame because I love that thing. But hey, so if you guys ever have any Chromebook <laughs> or Pixel C questions, just leave me a comment and then I'll help you guys out. All right, take it easy, guys.